After all, you, you, you have children and you want to look after them, you want to keep a home, why destroy it all? And live in this terrible atmosphere. And it is fear that causes it all, and I know that both sides are afraid. Protestants imagine that the Catholics are going to take them over. And Catholics, well, as you can see here, maybe it isn't imagination, know that the Protestants are trying to get rid of them. It, it's like the time of Cromwell or, or the, the Huguenots in France. It's you see, the, th the thing is, it, the ordinary Protestant from the areas that uh, were involved in this fighting, they really, they're bred with hatred for Catholics, and I think the majority of Catholics hate been hated. I, I don't think they're, they have no hatred in them themselves for anyone, but... Uh, well, no, that isn't quite right. I well, mean, you get the lunatic fringe everywhere. There was a couple of shotguns used, and we had nothing. No shooting at all from your side? No shooting at all whatsoever from our side, because we hadn't got nothing to shoot back with. All we had was stones and a wee couple of petrol phones we had. That was all we had. And then the army cut, when we beat them back, the Paisley Lights back, there was only about 50 men, beat about 100 Paisley Lights back. We chased them right over to Desirella Street and fought them there. Two of our lads were shot on the Crummer Road, chasing them down Desirella Street. One was blinded, and the other one was shot in the leg. And then... How many people now have been evacuated from this area? Well, I reckon out about, uh, about 300 people. This was a Catholic Protestant area mixed, wasn't it? Yes, before? that's right, yes. You think it will be again? I don't think so. I don't believe so. I don't think it'll be a long, long time even before we can trust these people over here. Voluntary workers say that about 65 Catholic families have left their homes and probably 17 Protestant families. The barriers are down now in Hooker Street. The pathetic belongings have been brought to the meal centre here in Butler Street. Families sleep in the hall at night and furniture which was left in the abandoned houses is said to have been destroyed. And of course, the squatters have moved in immediately. What happened to the houses that these people have had to leave? Well, they've been occupied by Protestant families. The Protestant families have moved in and taken these houses over. The police here have been the main cause of trouble. We have had no trouble in Butler Street or this district whatsoever. The police just has come in, battle charged all around them. The payslets come round, and uh, they, we went out. The young lads told us that the payslets were coming in, and we went out to, to sort of defend our homes. And the police stood at the top of the top of the street, and they told us to get in. And when we told them that we were going to fight, they threw bottles down the street at us, and we had to get into the houses. And they let the payslets come round the houses, and they burned all the houses. They burned the houses and wrecked the houses, and threw petrol bombs. And they stood and watched the houses burning down and where there was once home there's nothing only spare ground. There's nothing only spare ground. Were the police here at this time? Yes, the police were in and they let them come in on. I don't know what they were, we couldn't they were say what they were. Police. They were uniformed and civilians and everything. Yeah. And they just come in on us and they let them come in and, and they wrecked and they destroyed people's homes and they broke them up. <laughs> 